Hello, I am going to talk about part four of the Malawi and South Africa mission trip. Yay! It's about time, right? It took me forever to do this. It is October the 31st, and that is what? July, August, September, so, so over three months later, right? Over three months later after coming back from the mission trip. I think I came back on um, July the 29th or something like that, so yeah. Yeah, it's been about three months, so over three months. And so I just wanted to give you my perspective after the mission trip. So one of the first things I want to talk about is how the mission trip deepened my faith and understanding of God. The main thing that I learned from this mission trip is I learned what season I'm in right now. And that is a transitional season. I had just got a management job at the beginning of the year. Getting getting good money coming in. And I was excited about it and everything. But hmm, the mission trip was just kind of like a highlight of the transitional season that I was entering into. Okay? And it required a waiting. It required a development. It required for me to understand how to wait on the Lord. The word of God, the word of God says that those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And the requirement of that is not giving up. And so the process of the transition was not giving up keep going and then another process of it was learning how to wait uh, the word that i had for the year um i had did a retreat at the end of the last year and i got a word and it was worship and i can see how everything um it comes together because in the waiting you worship you worship the lord and um not too long ago um in my dream i felt the lord say you were created i actually heard him say in the dream that you were created for prayer and worship like that was the purpose of me and i'm sure it's not just for me but i think that's for all believers we were created to pray and to worship and that is his first priority for us i believe more than anything i believe that the lord really want me to focus on praying and worshiping like that is a priority for him so this mission trip allowed for me to be able to stop and see what season I'm in. I'm in a waiting season. And because of this waiting season, I am able to understand how to wait, worship, and prayer. And then developing myself. So I'm in school school for taxes so i'm going through the process of getting my cpe license and i am going doing the classes for taxes and i am going to do a 21 day challenge starting in december if you want to sign up you can um go to my website foreververnice.com and so it's just about breaking the hard ground through discipline and allowing for you to have transformation in how you approach your taxes by consistently um, having, being consistent in um, uh, small habits. So yes, that is the focus of um, that particular type of challenge. So that is really what I want to emph emphasize is you can break, have your breakthrough with taxes with discipline you can do it and it's sometimes take a process but it, you can you can have that transformation take place you can have that tax transformation and so that is the growth that i learned and another thing that i learned was how to really appreciate those that are in that promotion season so you have different season and one of the seasons is god promotes you so whenever those around me are promoted i am really Really celebrating because I understand that there is a trial that you have to go through 
in order to get that promotion. So when God promotes you, the verse that comes to mind is the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and adds no sorrow to it. That means that they went through the process of waiting when God was uprooting the things that didn't belong. And then they were able to get that promotion. And then when they have their promotion, it's no sorrow because they're able to have the the word that I've been hearing a lot this year, capacity to carry that gift that the Lord has given them. And so I really am like celebrating those that have actually been promoted because I know that they passed the test. And now because they passed the test, God promoted them and no sorrow will be added to it. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah for those in the promotion season. Can you get an amen? <laughs> so if those in the waiting season, let's celebrate those in the promotion season. Because we know that sooner or later when we get to that promotion season, we're going to be like, hallelujah. You know, the waiting period, the development, and in, 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 in the processing that God is doing to get us ready and refine find like gold um you know so that when we get promoted no sorrow be added to it so we can just be even more happy when we see others being able to uh get through that you know that season and to be able to be promoted by the lord the best way to be prom- be promoted by the way is by the lord and not by people uh the challenges that um i experienced was just understanding that i was first of all in a waiting period i didn't realize it and the other thing is understanding that the things that i did were hidden unknown um when you are an intercessor and you're praying and worshiping and all that, you really, nobody knows your name. You're like those type of things, you know. There's no recognition for things like that, and so just understanding that, you know, you're doing a great work. And the reason why I know it matters is because years ago, the Lord gave me a dream for me to go with Dr. Faith and Mama Joyce because they were in my dream to cross over the waters. It was important enough for the Lord to give me that. So whatever took place, the hidden thing that took place, it mattered. It mattered. And maybe I'll understand it by and by later on, but I know that it had a bigger purpose than I realized. The hidden thing, the thing that wasn't really like promoted, it mattered. Maybe it, me just being there, um, planted a seed or allowed for something to take place that needed to take place i will not know the fullness of it and it doesn't matter as long as i am where the lord wanted me to be and which was with them in that time in that season so i can understand the transitional period and all of that because you know sometimes you don't understand everything so yes um that i believe that that was the impact that i have It was more on the side of the hidden side, the unseen side. (laughs) That was my impact because, um, because of what I was doing, it wasn't really promoted and it was hidden. And so, um, and the other thing is, um, what I really enjoyed was the, the nature part of it. I was able to be in the country I'd never been before. I was able to travel and visit all the different places that I never did before. I it, it, I mean, you can help. It has to have an impact on you. You go to London. You go to Denver. You go, I mean, I've never been to Denver. So even though I was in, in the United States, I've never been. Um, it allowed for me to go to Johannesburg. And it allowed for me to visit, you know, places I've never been before. Touch soil that I've never been been before visit Nelson Mandela home um like those type of things go to a safari those type of things that I never imagined I would do that I was able to do dance on the beach at a lake that was absolutely beautiful you know these the kind of things you just won't forget and it impacts you and even though I was able to serve um a community be a part of serving a community that I never served before 
um i believe that the biggest impact was just taking the leap of faith to go outside of the box outside of what i'm local like my local environment and go to another region and become internationally impacting others you know come becoming global in that sense so yeah um so that was very impactful for me and um and I know that I will definitely be a monthly uh, giver to the Elon project. I'm not able to give as much as I want to because, again, I'm in a transitional waiting period. But I know that things will come together in time. I know that things will come together in time. And I'm excited about that. I um also wanted to... Uh, talk about my future plans and that is to just focus on being a tax professional get my license cpa license or become a role agent and then also um coach so the focus is to coach people to that are struggling with their taxes to just go ahead and be start don't ignore it start doing the hard things and and you begin to transform your taxes that way and then also do the hard work and transform your eating by being disciplined and understanding what it takes to build up your taxes, build up your body. So those are like the two areas that I really want to focus on. And um, I'm just grateful for those that supported me in this process because I understand that you really didn't have to take the time to do that. You didn't have to take the time to believe in me. First of all, I want to thank Legacy Center Church for even being willing to embrace me and allow for me to be a part of it. Because like I said, I was in the hidden part of it. I wasn't really in the promoted type of part of it all, but I believe that. Oh, it every single um um part that everyone played in the team was important and and i believe that it did something spiritually in the unseen <laughs> realm and um and i believe that it was impactful um in both malawi and south africa and i believe that god um is using that mission trip as a seed um, a good seed that will plant great things um, even right now and in the future so I am thankful that I was able to finally share my final uh, you know just reflection of the mission trip and I hope this actually blessed you um and just giving you an insight on like a different perspective of a mission trip and how impactful it can be because I know for this it was more internal um than external but hopefully I did make a positive impact on those that I did serve and that a part a positive impact on the team that I was a part of so God bless and thank you for for watching.